Alright, so um, I didn't do a video last week, and I apologize for that, but I was a little under the weather. I had had all four of my wisdom teeth taken out for my birthday, in fact, on uh, Friday, last Friday, and it was a little um, slow going to recover from that. I'm still a little bit swollen on this side, a little bit hard to bite down. Um, I wasn't awake for any of it because I paid a little bit extra to get the IV sedation, which in my book I am so for and really, really glad that I made that decision because it felt like it lasted two seconds and yeah, I was out of that and on my way heading home super loopy and I had a couple videos that I posted to my Facebook so if you want to laugh uh, you can totally laugh at me doing that. And then I woke up and I couldn't feel my face. <laughs> uh, I am not as young as most people are when they get their wisdom teeth pulled, which is um, anywhere from early teens to, um, yeah, like early 20s, so I'm doing it a little bit later in life, and it's been tough to jump back. So I guess the video that I'm doing today is all about how it really does take one little day at a time sometimes to get better and you can't always rush it and just jump back into working again and doing what your body's kind of telling you to slow down with and it's yeah it's kind of not an easy thing to listen to your body when uh, when you're sick because your head likes to tell you, oh, you know, I'm bored, or oh, I can do this, or I'm capable of that, whereas your body could be telling you, actually, no. <laughs> like, don't listen to this. Listen to me. I know what I'm doing. I've been doing it for years. So, um, yeah, it was definitely a practice this last week in being mindful of where my body was and what I was capable of doing, what I wasn't capable of doing. I luckily had awesome friends that I work with, uh, or co-workers that were able to help me and cover some of my shifts. Thank you to you guys. And um, I'm, yeah, I'm almost all the, way, all the way back to healed, so it's pretty awesome. Just a little bit more to go. But um, another thing is, is that I'm just really, really grateful for my health and it's, man, being sick and going through some stuff is really difficult, and so anybody out there who's going through health issues right now, I am so sorry for you, and I'm sending you all my love, and uh, swift recoveries, and really my heart goes out to you because, yeah, going through anything, um, this is very minor, but it still knocks the wind out of you, and it uh, takes some time to bounce back from, so anybody who's going through anything more serious, I'm definitely sending my love to you guys and want you to know that really just baby step by baby step and really listen to your body and try to, you know, try to get, get through it. And I think loving yourself and treating yourself kind and doing what your body's telling you to do is probably one of the most important things. Um, don't let this get in the way. <laughs> uh, our minds are pretty strong and powerful things, so if we can quiet them and uh, listen more to our bodies, I think that uh, they kind of know best as to what's um, healthy for us. So, yeah, I'm wishing everybody um, great health and happiness and sending all my love to you guys and hoping you have an amazing week. And if anybody needs any help, uh, for whatever reason, mental, physical, spiritual, um, emotional, any of that stuff, and want to reach out, I'm here for you, so if you want to go out and do a cool hike, I am all for that, 
once I'm feeling a little bit better, maybe in the next few days. And then um, if you want to just sit down and chat and want to discuss things, if you got stuff to get off your chest or you need just a friend to listen to, I am here. Um, you can send me a email through the Be Connected's email or just contact me through the Facebook page. Um, yeah, I'm totally here for you guys. So if anybody needs help with anything, uh, don't hesitate. All right, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you next week.